Sorry about my appearance. I know I don't normally look like this in my videos, but um, I have thrown out my back and I'm on bed rest for a while. And I got a box in today that I really, really want to unbox for you and I just couldn't wait. So forgive my appearance today. I don't normally look like a homeless person in my videos. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so this box is the Valentine's Day box from Pretty Ghouls, and the owner had contacted me a few weeks back and let me know that there was only a few left and asked if I wanted one. Um, I don't know how I had missed it in the first place. <laughs> I guess I've been, you know, everything's been so crazy, I just, I haven't been online as much as I normally am, so... I missed the info on it so it was really sweet of her to contact me and ask me about it and bought one uh, had a little bit of problems with <laughs> getting delivered to my new address but she was just so incredibly sweet about everything and it's such a pleasure to talk to so we're gonna dive right into this I haven't seen any spoilers so I have no idea what's in here it's gonna be a total surprise to me um, I, I don't even really remember what the cost of this box was. <laughs> I want to say with shipping and everything, it was close to 50 But um, I will link her Instagram below so you can go and check her out. If you, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you're probably familiar with Pretty Ghouls. She's been in several of the Glamour Ghoul boxes, and I already have a few things from her, so... She's really awesome, and her stuff is amazing, so go and check her out. And guys, look how cute this box is! It came in, like, purple plastic mailer, and then the box has bats all over it. That's adorable. You guys know anything with bats makes my dark little heart happy. <laughs> Alright, so let's cut this thing open. And I want to say there was, she said there was five to six things in this box, but we'll see. Something smells good in there. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it smells good. Okay, so, there is something on the top here. Let's see, let me make sure this isn't a spoiler. Okay, this is the, this is the information on everything that's in the box, so we'll save this for at the end. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. First of all, just look at how pretty this is. See if I can tip it without everything falling out. Look how adorable that is. That is the spookiest Valentine's Day box I have ever seen. All the little red bats. Look how cute this is. <laughs> That's just adorable. And there's a raffle ticket, too. So... I'm entered into a raffle. I think she, yeah, she was doing a raffle for this one. Um, I don't think, yeah, I think that the boxes have already sold out for sure because I got one of the last ones. But um, I'm sure she'll be doing another one soon, so make sure you get in on that. Let's see, the first thing we have in here. Surrounded by bubble wrap. Oh, it's from Nightshade Cellar. Oh, that's cool. I think this is... Let's see. Holy shit. <laughs> it smells so good. I think this is one of their whipped soaps. Look how pretty it is, you guys. That's the inside. And then look at the colors on the side. How pretty that is. It smells amazing. It smells like candy. Like a Valentine's Day candy. So yummy. I've seen their whipped soaps and I've wanted to try one, but just never 
gotten around to doing it, and Nightshade Cellar has some pretty good stuff, guys. Just saying. Alright, so then the next thing we have here... Oh, it's a little perfume oil! Oh, I love perfume oils. I love smelling things. Alright, so this is from Andromeda's Curse. And it is called the Empress. I gotta make sure I don't spill it. Oh, it's in like a little rollerball thing. Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, look how cute that label is. Hopefully it'll focus. Focus, camera. No, you're not gonna focus? Okay, well you get it. You get the idea. But yeah, it's in a little rollerball. And it smells like maple syrup. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it smells amazing. Yeah, it smells like, like blueberry pancakes and maple syrup. <laughs> that's what it smells like to me. Don't know if that's what the scent is supposed to be, but I love this. And I love that it's in a little roller ball that's like so convenient and it's tiny and travel size. I'm super excited about that. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh yeah, so we have, here's the card for Andromeda's Curse. And you can see that. And then, oh, here's the card for Pretty Ghouls. So you can see her information on the back there. But like I said, I'll have everything listed in the comment section below for Pretty Ghouls and any of the other companies that are in here so it'll all be below for you to go and check them out and we got a little box here this is cute i like this little box where'd my knife go i keep losing my knife <laughs> i hear something in here oh my god you guys, this makes me so happy right now. It's a necklace, and it's, oh man. Sorry guys, Blue knocks the camera over. Hey, stop, stop scratching. She's got a little itchy problem right now, so she decided she wanted to come up here and help and knock the camera over. Now that that's taken care of. Um, yeah, so the necklace, it's got Elvira on it. And you guys know I love Elvira. Come on, hi kitty. I don't know why my camera is not focusing on things today. There it goes. Yes. Yeah, Elvira is like my idol. I love everything Elvira. So, man, I already managed to get it in the gonna put it on but there we go it's so pretty I love that it looks like a locket there we go there I was lacking some jewelry so that worked <laughs> all right what else do we have in here let's see more bubble wrap no there's nothing for you go lay down My dogs have been so incredibly, like, sweet and worried about me this whole time I've been on bed rest. They haven't left me. They're my babies. Huh. Even though you guys get annoying from time to time. <laughs> there we go. I think we're getting it. She packaged everything up very well, too, by the way, which is good because... The mail service can be brutal, especially if they think it's a box full of stuff. They're like, oh, hey, let's see how much we can kick this around. <laughs> oh, is this a bath bomb? It is a bath bomb. Or is it a soap? No. Let me see. It's either a bath bomb or a soap, you guys, but it smells amazing. So it's just what I needed. It's 
the Dark Heart Bath Bomb. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It's from Hocus Pocus Bath. I've never heard of them before, but mm, I don't even know like what this, how you would describe this scent, you guys, but it's like... It's slightly spicy, but sweet. And it reminds me of something. I just, I can't place what it is, but God, it smells amazing. I want to smell like this all the time. See, look, look how pretty this is. So here's one side of it, shaped like a heart. And then the other side, I hope you can see how sparkly this is. It is so very sparkly. So this is going to be a very fun sparkly bath bomb. I am looking forward to using this. For sure. And then let's see what else we have in here. This is so cute. Everything is just wrapped up so cute. I love this so much. Anytime I get something and the packaging is just adorable, it just makes me love it even more because, you know, somebody put a lot of time and thought into putting everything together and it just makes it that much more special. And why is my camera not focusing? There we go. My camera's being weird today, guys. I'm sorry. I know this isn't our normal type of video, but like I said, I was just too excited and I'm bored being on bed rest, so, you know. Oh, this is cool! Okay, this is one of those... I haven't seen one of these in a long time, but this is one of those little keychains, and look, it's got Nancy from the craft on it, and you can hang your purse from it. So when you're at restaurants, and you have your purse, but you either can't hang it on the chair or put it anywhere, and you don't want to put it on the nasty floor, you put this part on the edge of the table, and you have a little hook to put your purse on. I used to have one of these a long time ago, and I just, I, I think I broke it, and I haven't seen any more of them. I thought, like, nobody made them anymore, but this is so cool. I love this. This is definitely going to come in handy, because anytime I ride on the back of a motorcycle, we usually end up stopping at a bar someplace, and I always have my backpack, but most of the time, there's no place to put my backpack when we're sitting at the bar, and I do not want to put it on the floor. So that's going to definitely come in handy. Okay, so we have two more things. One is inside of this little heart. It is adorable. You guys, so I, I have to admit, I don't normally do Valentine's Day. It's just never really been my thing. It's just, I don't know. I've never really done Valentine's Day, but this just this is, makes me very happy. <laughs> it makes me feel like a little kid again. Oh, it's a ring! <gasps> see. This is adorable. I want to say this is... This is Dracula. Yes! It's Dracula. Look. Look, you guys. Come on, focus camera. Can you see him? It's from one of my favorite Dracula movies. And now I have him on a ring. Let's see what it is. And I like that it's adjustable, too, because my fingers are tiny. <laughs> and most of the time, like, if a ring is not adjustable, it's not going to fit me. So there we go. Look how pretty that is. I love it. I love it so much. And I like that it came in this little heart box. That's cute. And then we've got one more thing in here. Oh, a whole bunch of lollipops for Valentine's Day. Isn't that cute? And I bet you they're probably, they are cherry. These are my favorites. <laughs> Anybody knows me that any, knows that anytime I'm going to get a lollipop, it's going to be a cherry one because that's my absolute favorite flavor. All right, so that is everything in the box. Let's go through real quick and do a little recap of everything that we got and see what it says on here. Okay, so the first one was the Black Heart Whipped Soap by Nightshade Cellar. So I was right, this is whipped soap. Um, it's scented with vanilla, orchid, patchouli, cherry, and white jasmine. 
that's probably why I said it said it, it smelled like uh, Valentine's Day candy because the cherry and vanilla. Cherry is a very popular in Valentine's Day candy flavor. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so yeah, we got that. We got um, the bath bomb. Ghouls need love. Bath bomb. Where did that go? There it is. So we got our bath bomb. And it says, scented with hints of fresh pineapple, cassava melon, and creamy coconut with a dash of spice. And it's by Hocus Pocus Bath. So I was really, I was really on with this one. I said that it smelled like, and it was a little bit spicy, and then it smelled a little bit fruity. So I, was, I was pretty on with that. I'm going to have to go look and see if they can make me a perfume that smells like that, because I would love it. Um, and then the Empress Perfume Oil is this one and it is perfume oil made with fragrance and essential oils Ooh, that's good that it's got essential oils in it um it's 100 percent vegan scented with vanilla fig apple spices and brown sugar oh well, that's pretty close it's pretty close that brown sugar is probably why i said it smelled like maple syrup and i knew it smelled fruity it smells so good <laughs> I can't stop smelling it. Everything in here has smelled amazing. Alright, so those are the only things that are not by Pretty Ghouls. Um, so then we have the Ghouls Just Want to Have Fun theme for our Fierce Ghouls with the ring, necklace, and purse holder. And, oh, that's right. There was two different options for this box. I forgot. Um, there was a single ghouls theme and then there was a like couples theme i got the single ghouls one and so i guess that's why that's the only difference was the characters on these so i'm sure they were i'm sure they were just different uh characters on the different jewelry and purse holders so that was cool i'm glad i got the ones that i got though especially the elvira necklace like this is one of my favorite things in this box I'm going to be wearing this necklace all the time now. Um, let's see. And then it says jewelry care. And all packaging was designed by Pretty Ghouls. Minus the Hocus Pocus bath product. So she did all of the packaging herself. That was, that was really good. Cool. And then it just has all of our, or all of her information down here. So... Yeah, that was really cool. This is a really good box. I'm definitely this is the first time I've gotten one of her boxes before. Like I said, I've gotten some of her stuff in um, the Glamour Ghoul box, but this is my first time getting one of her boxes, and I'm definitely gonna be getting more because this was really good. Like I said, I think it with with shipping and everything was close to fifty or about fifty, and we got let's see one, two, three, four, five, six six different things plus the candy and stuff like this this was fun i really really enjoyed this so a big thank you to pretty goals for telling me about this box and getting it to me and it's just i love it i love it it was you guys did a really good job um like i said everybody all of the information will be in the description below so you guys can go and check out pretty goals and other companies that were in this box and that's it for this episode. I still have a Glamour Ghoul box coming in, hopefully sometime this week, next week. I don't know. I know they've had a problem shipping things out, or not really shipping things out. The, the post service is having issues getting things shipped out. So we'll see, but that is definitely coming up in the future, and we'll be back to doing normal-ish videos. Hopefully I'll be off of bed rest by that time. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Stay spooky.